Good day. In this video, we're going to look at how to sketch a parabola, specifically this one with the equation f of x equals to y equals to minus x squared plus 4. We'll try and learn what method we can use to draw all parabolas in grade 10. When I draw or sketch a parabola, there's certain five steps that I follow. Firstly, like I wrote over here, there's a little the guideline. First you do the shape, then you do the y-intercept, you make x naught. that is your turning point. Then you start your sketch, then you work your x-intercepts if there are any. Then you use a table in all graphs if there's trouble. That's the last resort. So firstly, the shape. If there is a minus like in front of this x square, it will be a minus like this guy's nose is a minus, then he's an unhappy face. If there's a plus in front of the x square, there will be a happy face parabola. So the shape, if there's a plus in front of the x square, positive shape. If there's a negative in front of the x square, it's an unhappy shape. The y-intercept, we make x naught, which is your turning point also. X-intercept, we make y naught. And like I said, we use the table if we have trouble. I rewrote the equation for us. So we have here f of x equals to y equals to minus x squared plus 4. I'm going to stick to it. It says here the shape. We do the shape first. There is a minus in front of the x squared. That means we will have a sad face parabola. The second thing we work out is we set the y intercept. We make x naught. We go into this equation. We make x naught and we replace the x in a bracket with naught. We also said that if we worked out the y intercept, it's also going to be my turning point. So, like I said, we made that x naught, we did it over here, and then you work this out with your calculator. Then you get your answer y equals to 4. I like to write it as a coordinate. The next thing we do is we start our sketch. You'll now see why. Here I drew a Cartesian plane for us with a y axis and an x axis with the numbers on there. And we worked out that the y intercept was 4. So I go on the y axis and I make a mark here. I made a cross here at 4. The second thing we, we combine now the shape with the y intercept. So we know that the y intercept is my turning point and the shape is going downwards. That means I will have x intercepts. So I work out my x-intercepts. If there are any, yes, there will be x-intercepts. I can see it combining my shape and my y-intercept. And then I make y0 in this equation. Like I said, when you want to work out your x-intercepts, you have to make y0. So you go into your equation, you make the y0, and you rewrite the equation. Now there's two ways to solve this equation again. I like the first one best. If, they, if you see an equation with an x squared in it, the rule told us that in equations, bring the x squared and everything else to one side where the x squared is positive and leave the naught on the other side. So you make you take everything to the one side where the x squared is positive and equate it to zero. Then it will look like this. Then you factorize this. Then it will look like this. And then you solve for x. There's two answers coming out of here x minus 2 is equal to 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then I solve these two equations separately. And that leaves you with x equals to 2, or x equals to minus 2. According to me, this is the best method to use to find your x-intercepts on a parabola. But there is another method. Let's look at that quickly. You can also start with this equation and take the x squared to one side and make it positive and leave the 4 on the other side. And then you can square root both sides, which will then look like this. But most kids forget to put this plus minus in on the right hand side. Square root of x squared is x, but you must put a plus or minus on the right hand side. And that's why I like the other method better. If you work hard on this and do this a lot of times over, you will eventually remember to put the plus minus in. Then the answer becomes x equals to plus or minus 2 then there is two values for x in here. x equals to plus 2 or x equals to minus 2 like we got the other answers that we got. Same answer, different technique. So remember, if you work out the x-intercepts, you make y0, which you have here, y0. 
And you've got the two techniques to use. Choose the one that suits you best, or that's the safest for you. But remember, we need the two answers at the end. Now we take this x equals to 2 and x equals to minus 2 and plug it into our and mark it off on our sketch. Like you can see, I marked off my y-intercept and my two x-intercepts combined with the shape that I know it must run over here. I now finish by drawing my parabola in. And my final product will look like this. So I sketched the parabola of this equation. I worked up my y-intercept, put in my two x-intercepts, and I just connected the points. That was at the end. And I write in the name of the graph here. If I don't have a name, just a y equals to, I write the whole equation next to the graph. So this is, we just remind quickly, we start with the shape. In this case, it was unhappy. Y-intercept, make x naught. We worked that out over here. We got the answer 4. We start the sketch, put it in, and check what the shape tells me. Then we work out the x-intercepts. If there are, we saw there was going to be x-intercepts. So we made y 0. Then we used one of the two techniques to solve for x. We got the two answers, x is 2 or x is minus 2. Marked it, and then finished our graph. Did not have to use the table method. There wasn't trouble anywhere. Enjoy sketching your parabolas.